don't mind my super weird angle recording right now. So I'm in Dallas at a hotel and I wanted to share with you guys what I ate for breakfast this morning because I get this question all the time. What am I supposed to eat like when I'm traveling, when I don't have time to cook, when I can't heat anything up, when I'm traveling on the road? Or my friend literally asked me the other day, she's a nurse and she's on her feet. She, she has 12 hour shifts. She doesn't have time to like sit down and eat a full meal or cook anything. And this is what I do in those situations and what I literally did this morning and do a lot of the time when I'm in an airport and like basically traveling through the time of a regular meal. And I like to call it make it work meals. They're kind of like mini snack meals, but they have three components that are super important and things the thing I talk about all the time. We want to make sure that we have our carbohydrates or clean carbohydrates. So that is fruit and vegetables or fruit or vegetables, whatever you can get, our healthy fats, and our protein. If you're gonna go with two of those, can't get all of them, I always would shoot for protein and healthy fats. So I'm gonna show you guys what I had this morning and a lot of you are gonna be like, that's not breakfast. It is breakfast because it's fueling me, it's food. I wasn't hungry for several uh, several hours until lunch. And I had decided I didn't wanna have the food at the airport. I wanted to feel good when I was done. I didn't wanna be bloated. I didn't wanna be dehydrated. So I choose to have this. So for my fruits and vegetables, like I said, clean carbohydrates, I chose <laughs> to have this. Um, these are dried mulberries. So this is my fruit. They have literally no other ingredients in here besides mulberries, which is awesome. Um, it's giving my, me my fiber. It's giving me a tiny bit of protein and then of course clean carbohydrates. So the other thing is these are zucchini chips. They are literally zucchini made into chips. Um, not the best because they do have canola oil and sunflower oil, which is, uh, which is a little bit inflammatory, but you know what? We, sometimes we just have to make it work and it's not going to be perfect, but these also have fiber. They have a little bit of protein and they give me the clean carbohydrates. So of course, like I mentioned, we always want to make sure we have protein. So I love these Epic Bison bars. Um, not a ton of protein wouldn't be my ideal breakfast because I typically want to have like around 30 grams of protein for breakfast, but I think it's seven or eight grams. So adding it together, you end up getting some protein. So these are really good. And then lastly, we want to make sure that we have healthy fats so I bring some almonds that literally the only ingredients in here are salt and almonds but like I was saying sometimes you just have to make it work so if there is an ingredient in one of these things or one of the things you end up grabbing that isn't ideal I think that's totally okay because we're not gonna be able to be perfect all the time and when we try to that makes it much harder to be sustainable and carry out when we're in these types of situations so moral of the story is look for your veggies or fruit or both if you can find them clean as form possible make sure you're getting your protein in that would be number one and then um, grab some healthy fats I beforehand like calculated what the calories are and all of the macronutrient levels just to make sure you don't have to do it beforehand you can do it whenever just to make sure it is generally similar to what I normally have for a meal because otherwise like typically an hour later I'm like super hungry which is okay but obviously that's not my goal so it ended up literally being within 10 to 20 um, of the calories that I normally consume for breakfast I'm not all about calories but it gives you an idea of the fuel you're putting in your body especially if you are getting your fiber your protein and your fats um, so kind of similar to what I normally have the protein was a little bit lower obviously in the fast and the carbohydrates were a little bit higher but again can't always be perfect and it's, it's really good for like what it was and 